if it is freedom which you want, and I think that's the first step in any healing process, to say, what do you want? Do you want revenge? Do you want to go and sort out the past? Or do you want healing? Now the word healing is to make whole again, to make complete. And I think the end result of all healing is is peace. Would you, would you agree with that? That mm-hmm. what we're really yearning for through healing is we want freedom from this pain. And when we have freedom from the pain, what will that bring us? It'll bring us a, a feeling of peace. So I want to ask you, is that what you want? For most of us, we are bound by past. Our bodies are actually solidified past. If you want to know what's really going on in your head, look at your body. Your body always speaks your truth. And the diseases that we um, acquire as physical beings come from unconscious thought processes. They're blockages to the flow of life. In the East, they talk about the flow of chi, the flow of life. And so we have these blockages to life, and the blockages are always created by thought patterns that we're holding now. And it is that thought pattern of collecting information always from the past that determines our future experiences based on the pain of the past. And it's that absence of your awareness from the body that creates an ongoing trauma in the body. The question we have to ask ourselves is where is joy? Where is peace? As we change our perception and we start to make this moment more important, we start to become more alive. Now what creates, what, what, what the results of trauma is that we, we don't fully live, we don't fully feel, as you said. In order to heal, you have to feel. In order to feel, you have to be present. The only place and the only time you can feel is now. The past isn't here anymore, and yet we're carrying within us a no, a resistance to life. And is that saying no to life, is that resistance to the present moment that creates the ongoing trauma in our awareness. And if you want freedom, if you want peace, if that's really what you want, then start focusing on the one place that's free of pain, that's free of suffering. And where is that place? It's not a time in the future, which is what the mind says. The mind says that one day I'll be healed. When I find the solution, find the pill, find the modality, then one day I'll be free in the future, but not now. Right now I'm in pain and I'm suffering. So now here's the trick. You bring your awareness fully into the feeling. You fully feel the discomfort that you're feeling now. Where is the trauma in your body now? Where do you feel this uncomfortableness now? The moment you allow the pain to be there, the moment you allow the discomfort to be there, the moment you allow it to be there, it dissipates. And that's the paradox. You see, we're so busy resisting the past. We're so busy not allowing the past to be there. And this resistance builds up energy, trapped energy in the body. And only by allowing and accepting do we dissolve it. And if you bring your whole attention into where you are experiencing your past now, which is trapped energy in your body now, the light of awareness dissolves the past. Most people live their lives in in memory or anticipation. When in fact life itself is now, healing is now, joy is now, peace is now, presence is now. And the question we ask is, if you want peace, are you prepared to give up your story?